Hello, 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 everyone. It is good to be with you here this afternoon. And I wanted to, hello, I wanted to jump on here and talk about something that I know comes up for me. And I can imagine that it comes up for others as well. I know it came up for a client of mine today. What happens when, oh, and oh, by the way, you join, say hello, let me know that you're here. Feel free to ask questions. Um, feel free to post comments. Let me know what you're thinking about what I'm talking about here. And what I wanted to touch base on is what do you do when you feel like life is just kind of beating you down um, or that you get through one thing and you feel good for a moment and then you're waiting for the other shoe to drop um, or it does drop and you're kind of like, oh, what? Here we go again. Or you're doing all of this work and good stuff can be happening, but then at some point down the road, you're like, oh, am I right back where I started? I feel like I'm repeating the same things again and again and again. Well, there's two things that I want to leave you with here today. One is we're not going around in circles. Even when it feels like, oh, that feels really familiar. Um, I've been there, done that. What's really, this is the way I envision what's really happening, is that we're not circling. We're actually on this spiral pathway. Now, it looks more like this, probably, um, but as opposed to the circle, I like the spiral because the spiral reminds me that things are changing that I am making progress. Now, yes, a pattern, um, a trauma, something that we've experienced in our past may come up again, but when we connect to it this time, it's at an entirely different level. Who we were here is not who we are here. So yes, it feels familiar, but yet we're experiencing it at a different level and from a new perspective. Our mind might be going, yep, yeah, been there, done it, here we are again. And whatever else it might want to say, our mind can be a real asshole, I mean, to be blunt. Um, and at the same time, we have a choice to listen to that, to respond to that, or we have a choice to recognize we are, in fact, in a different place because we're a different person. We've grown, we've expanded, we have new knowledge, new awareness. We have more wisdom to pull from. So we can recognize that and acknowledge that. And in doing that, whatever is coming up for us to discover, um, to become aware of, to heal, to address in some way, to move through in some way, we have a choice at that point to respond to it as if, in fact, our mind was being honest, saying, yep, you're right back there again. Which means, we, for me, it would mean that I stay in my shitstorm for longer. It means I'm going to experience that law for days, weeks, or even longer on a low level. Or I can recognize, in fact, that I've made progress. And while it is familiar, and it is something that I would love to say is just done, I recognize that, okay, there might still be some work to do, but I've learned so much in my journey that I can be more efficient on how I come to the discovery, how I come to that increased awareness. I can be more efficient on how I acknowledge myself and support myself in feeling what I feel around that 
to then be able to let go of what no longer serves me and then choose to move on versus and consciously choose to move on versus what's happened in the past where I found myself in it and in it and in it hoping something would change. Not realizing that I can be proactive and empower myself because I can choose how I move through it differently. You know, when we do healing work, when we do, well, any type of self-care, where we're taking care of ourselves or we're learning something new, I don't know about you, but I'm not learning it with this expectation as much as it might be fabulous that, oh, once I take care of this, I'm never going to have to deal with anything ever again. Life is going to be smooth sailing. I don't know about you, but from my experience, I know that that's not the case. At some point in the future, something's going to come up that I'm going to have to deal or respond to. And at some point, it's going to be something that I don't really want to or don't really feel like I have a choice about. But again, I can either choose to respond to it <coughs> from that lower level of knowledge and awareness that I used to have, or I can choose to respond to it from my new level of awareness, my new level of growth, my new level of experience and wisdom. And in doing that, move through the stuff that doesn't feel good with more efficiency and come out to the other side for the goodness and juiciness and openness, opportunities, possibilities. We're never quite sure what it's going to look like that's there available to you on the other side. You have that choice and you have that power and you have that ability. So I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you have questions. Let me know. All right. I'm sending you lots of love. And, of course, all things fucking fantastic. Till we connect again. I love you all. Mwah.